Yo, yo, Cowboys fans, hey, hey, hey. I got a quick one. Well, not really a quick one. Um, haven't talked to you guys all week. Uh, I've been debating on doing this video. Today is my birthday. Um, just got done doing a run, and I'm on the way home, and I said I want to get this video out to the good people in Cowboys land. Um, I got a couple topics. Let's talk Zeke. Let's talk Corona. Let's talk Dak getting his money. Let's talk Mike Fisher clickbaiting the world let's talk jamal adams uh, and mike fisher's fake news let's talk all of this crap um and let's just talk right now we don't have football it's that dead season of not having football um and we will be in that anyway um and obviously the virus is here and spikes or to me more people getting tested but whatever spikes are happening quote unquote like Let's talk that for a second, guys. Even on my birthday, even after my run, I'm just getting so um, irritated with with, the, with this virus. And I take it serious, and you should be safe. But let's be honest. A lot of Americans, like myself, has, have just been going home, going to work. I got tested because I had to because of my child. But other than that, I hadn't gotten tested. Those quote-unquote high numbers of people getting tested or whatever, it's literally because more people are getting tested. So if there's a, a, you know, a thousand new cases, that'd be like the media reporting a thousand common colds. Um, I mean, it's just, I get it. Like, I, I, I take it serious, but it's also like, yeah, there's going to be new tests. There's going to be spikes when more people get tested. It's, it's kind of just like common sense. Like, in a state of 24 million, we're talking about a thousand people. Are we going to talk about a thousand homeless people? Are we going to talk about a thousand people that died from, you know, heart attack? Are we going to talk about any of those things? Or are we just going to run this virus? Here's the reality. The virus is here. It's not going away. Sorry, guys. My my thing broke. So I have to hold the phone doing this video. And I'm driving and I'm, I'm all over the place. But the reality is, guys, this virus is not going anywhere. Even with the vaccine or, or being able to be vaccinated or whatever. You're still going to have issues and, and, and side effects with that. So we're going to have to live with it. You know, I like what Stephen A. Smith said, you know, and rarely do I like what Stephen A. Smith said. But I like the simple fact that he said no jeopardy in starting the season. And I agree, guys. Zeke had the virus. Zeke spoke on it. Um, he's fine. He'll be fine. There is that percentage of people that. With, and I'm not, I don't want to come off as, you know, to those who with underlying issues. But the fact is, the survival rate is great. I think that we'll be okay. Um, the NFL knew that, that there would be tests and people would have it and they would have to quarantine, come back, get tested and be fine. That's just how this thing works. So um, now that that's out the way, let's talk about this clickbait stuff when it comes to one Jamal Adams. Guys, it's not going to happen. I, it's not going to happen. I'm not giving up a first round pick. I'm not giving up draft capital for Jamal Adams. No. Like, he's not Earl Thomas. He's a good safety. I don't even look at him as like a he's, a, he's a good safety that makes plays. Yes, he's a Pro Bowl safety. I get it. Great. I think, I'll be honest, I'm going to tell you who I would take over Jamal Adams. I would take Harrison Smith over Jamal Adams. I like Jeff Harrison Smith, but I'm just telling you, like, there's other safeties in the league, and, and safety is not a position that is going to make or break a team. It's just not. Like, they don't affect the game in that way. And, and then, again, he's not a guy that's on the roof. He's making plays down in the box. He's basically a linebacker. And what literally turn on the film. Now, he makes plays. There's a play that I watched where he crushed Saquon. He's, he's a dog, like, straight up. And I'm still not, and we're still not gonna get them. So every year, yeah, there's a lot of players that want to be Cowboys. I, I get it, but the reality is, the luck of the draw, you're a Jet. He's a Jet, and I get it. They they suck, you know. Bad franchise. Adam Gates is a terrible coach. The whole nine. They beat Dallas last year, but whatever. And he did have a good game in that game. So I guess you guys want to use that point against me. The point is, it's not gonna happen. It's clickbait. All right so I can really get my thoughts out. The point is, guys, it's not going to happen. It's clickbait. It's it's literally it's literally off-season waffles, okay? It, it's off-season waffles, guys. Um and it's and it's bothering me because we're better than this as a fan base like 
it's like a, a kid that know he been bad all year, and then at Christmas he expecting a PS5. You 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 kidding yourself? Like let's not be so fanatic -y that we're not being realistic. There's no way you're getting a PS5. You got suspended. You 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 disrespect your mom. You spit on the kids at school. How you, I can't give you a PS5. So no, don't don't get mad. I'm trying to find a good angle with some good lighting, guy. I'm bad. I'm all over the place, man. It's my birthday. Um. My last point, Dak signing his franchise deal. I love it. I think that he said, you know what? I got to learn this offense. I got to get ready. I think that him and Mike McCarthy are going to work great together. Um, and, hey, you got Andy Dalton for security. Um, I think that this roster is getting better, 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 better. And, and it has gotten better. I think this offense will be explosive, and I think the defense will be fine. I think Dak said, you know what? I need to get in. I need to learn the playbook. And so I respect Dak for that. They still have time. I think it's up to July 15th to work on. Um, they still have up to July 15th to work on the, the, the contract. So who knows what happens. What will happen right now is, you know, four year, five year, whatever. But anyway, he's in and that's a good thing. So at the end of the day, football is going to happen, guys. Let's just keep praying. Let's just keep staying positive. Let's not listen to these Mike Fisher reports is stupid, it's, it's clickbaity, it's corny. Normally, I don't call out people. Y'all support everybody, but that's dumb. Like, it's bad reporting because you're reporting on, like, if his, his Instagram likes. Like, it's so stupid. Like, is this where we are? Like, come on, dog. Like, anyway, it's my birthday, y'all. Show me some love. Hey.